Hello everyone, this is Ravinder Dundra and welcome back to my channel. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about class 9 CBSC Geography chapter number 4 that is climate. In the previous lectures about this chapter, we have discussed about uh, this, what is this El Nino, Southern Oscillation. Then we have also seen about onset of the monsoon and withdrawal of this monsoon. So now, in continuation with that, the next topic which we are going to discuss is about the seasons. So what is so what are the different seasons that are experienced in our Indian subcontinent? So as you all know very well that we have this monsoon type of climate. So because of this monsoon type of climate, the interior parts of the country will experience various seasons and there is a lot of change from one season to the other season. But if you take the coastal regions, they are not, they do not experience much changes in the seasons but the interior parts will experience different different seasons so let us see what kind of seasons that are experienced in the country so there are mainly four main seasons in india so they are one is the cold weather season the hot weather season the cold weather season also known as the winter the hot weather season also known as the summer and advancing monsoon which is the rainy season and retreating monsoon that means when the monsoon winds reversed in the country so these are mainly four different seasons so in this lecture we will discuss in detail about the cold weather season as well as this hot weather season so first we'll start with this cold weather season when it begins where it begins and what kind of weather conditions are, are experienced during this winter season so first and very important thing is that this cold weather season or simply the winter season it begins in the mid november and stays till february in the north india so especially if we compare with the south and north india north india will experience more cold climate or weather conditions compared to this South India. So when it begins actually in the North India is in the middle of November and the winter season continues till the February and the peak time of this winter season mainly occurs in this December as well as January. So these two months are actually the coldest months in the North India and usually if you take these two months some parts of the country they are actually frost or you can say covered with the snow then the next thing is that the temperature in india it decreases from south to north that means if you take this india map so the regions which are lying here they experience somewhat uh, uh, normal temperature but as we move towards the north india what happens the temperature will start decreasing so here if you take uh, Chennai for example which is lying in the south eastern part of India it experiences 24 to 25 degrees average temperature during the winter season but in the northern plain region that means here in these plain areas the temperature is 10 degrees to 15 degrees so you can see the variation and how it started decreasing from south to the north so we will see some other important uh, characteristics features of this cold weather season now we will see some other important features of this cold weather season or which is also known as this winter season. So here during the winter time what happens this northeast trade winds prevail over the country that means we have discussed the wind pattern some of the winds which are blowing in the southeast direction and we have also seen which blow from this northeast direction. So during this winter season we can find the northeast trade winds over the country so that means they will be blowing towards the equator in the northeastern direction then the next very important thing is that in the northern part of the country a high pressure region develops so why high pressure region develops mainly in this particular region northern part of the country the reason is that due to the cold temperatures so as you all know very well that if there are if the temperatures are cold means automatically that region will be high pressure uh, or you can say the area will be uh, high pressure is created in that region so here because of the cold temperatures in this particular region northern part of the country during the winter it experiences this high pressure zone then the next very important feature of this winter season especially in india is that during this season there is an inflow of cyclonic disturbances from the 
west and northwest which are originated from mediterranean sea so we have discussed about the india's climate is also affected by northwest cyclonic disturbances or you can also say western cyclonic disturbances so i have told during this uh, winter time there is a jet stream which is blowing from the mediterranean sea and which blows on the southern part of this himalayas over this uh, northern plains which brings some kind of cyclonic rainfall and this cyclonic rainfall it is locally known as this mahavat and this mahavat or the western cyclonic disturbances they are highly useful for the growth of rabi crops in india that means it takes some of the crops such as this uh, wheat which is very well grown in this north and northwestern part of the country so because of this western cyclonic disturbances or you can say winter cyclonic showers we can also call so they help in the production of this rabi crops then the next thing is that the peninsula region does not have a well defined cold season peninsula region means you know this uh, peninsula region so just below this northern plains so this particular region will not experience a well defined cold uh, cold season and the reason is that because of the the three sides here you can take arabian sea uh, indian ocean as well as this bay of bengal which are covering on the three sides of this peninsula region and you know if the water is surrounding means usually there will be moderate temperatures there won't be much change in the temperatures from season to season so therefore here this particular region there will be a, a moderate cold weather season or you can also say a not well defined cold season can be experienced in this peninsula region so with this we have completed about this cold weather season or the winter so next we will discuss about the hot weather season or we can also call it as the summer season let us discuss about the other important season in india that is the hot weather season which is also known as the summer season so when it begins in india the summer season and till what time it continues is that basically this summer season it begins in the months of march and stays till this may that means from the beginning of the march till the end of this may we can find the summer season in the country and especially why this summer season why we experience this summer season is that it is because of the shift of the sun towards the northern hemisphere so as you all know that the sun is in the middle and here earth here here if you take the different positions of positions of the rotation of the earth so during the summer months uh, the sun will be facing directly towards the northern hemisphere compared to this southern hemisphere so because of the apparent shift of the sun see you can see here it, uh, what i'm saying is that shift of the sun but basically the sun never shifts it stays in the constant place but due to the revolution of the earth around the sun uh, that it faces the northern hemisphere more during this months that is march as well as this may so because of this the northern hemisphere receives direct rays from the sun which leads to this summer season so this summer months experience rising temperature and falling air pressure in india so as you all know if the temperatures are very high basically what happens that there will be a low pressure zone is created so during the summer season temperatures are increasing then the pressure will be low pressure then the next thing is that by may a low pressure area develops in the tar in the western part that means by by this may month basically from this particular region that is from the western part of this rajasthan tar desert till this eastern part so this entire region there will be a complete uh, low pressure area in the country in the month of may so the reason is that it is because of this higher temperatures so compared to this uh, peninsula region again the north and northwestern part of india receives or experience more summer or more hot during the summer season so because of that this particular region is completely developed with the low pressure area so usually in the months of uh, uh, march uh, the temperature may be somewhere around 38 degrees celsius in the north and northwestern part of the countries but by this may the temperature average temperature amounts around this 45 degrees celsius so because of this higher temperatures what happens there will be a, a low pressure is created and from where to where the low pressure is completely created is on the western part of tar desert 
till the eastern part that is uh, chota nagpur and this patna region so this particular region develops the low pressure area so next we will see some other important features of this uh, hot weather season we will discuss some other important features of this hot weather season so during this hot weather season or during the summer season one of the very common feature of this uh, summer season in india is that it is about the low low means the hot and dry winds which blow during the summer in the daytime so especially if you take north and northwestern part of india there are hot winds which blow during the daytime and these winds are known as this low and during the summer season the other common feature in india especially north india is that it is about the dust storms which are very common during the months of may so that means uh, you can see during this months that is from the uh, may or you can take us at the end of this april till may you can find uh, dust storms in the country and these dust storms uh, somewhat they cool the temperatures of the earth during the uh, summer season but if this dust storms were not there means the temperatures were even very higher and these dust storms they also bring lot of uh, thunderstorms and they also create sometimes a, a lot of destruction also for the uh, uh, farming like uh, mango or you can take some other crops during the summer season so there one way they are helping in reducing the temperatures and the other way they bring thunderstorms they might create lot of destruction also then the next thing is that these dust storms which occur in the west uh, uh, in the northern part of india they are known as kal baisakhi in the west bengal that means in the state of west bengal these dust storms are known with other name that is kal baisakhi and by the end of the may or you can say towards the end of the summer season pre monsoon showers will occur in kerala and karnataka so that means slowly by the end of the may as you all know from the beginning of the june the monsoon showers or the monsoon winds start blowing towards uh, india so during this time what happens at the end of the may pre monsoon showers will occur in the states especially kerala as well as this karnataka and these pre monsoon showers are known as this mango showers and the reason why they are known as mango showers is that this pre monsoon shower they help in the ripening of their mangoes so because of that they are known as this mango showers so the since they help in the ripening of ma uh, mangoes they are known as this mango showers so with this we have completed about the hot weather season as well as the cold weather season so in the next lectures we will discuss about this uh, advancing monsoon as well as the retreating monsoon thank you